All right. If you guys don't mind, I was going to tell you a little story as we get started here. Oh, I'm Tracy Armstrong. I'm uh, lead recruiting here at GTB. Um, so uh, this just happened actually within the last 14 hours here in my life. Um, my daughter's been sick this week. She's been coughing. And uh, last night, it got a lot worse. She was really coughing a lot. And this was about 2 a.m. And so I'm finding myself, first of all, Googling on my phone, do um, mucinix and Benadryl, how they interact with each other, and then also like looking at my calendar, at my Outlook calendar to go, okay, what meetings do I have when, and the negotiation starts with my husband about which of us are going to go to work and which of us aren't. And so I, I just bring that story up for you because I'm sure for many of you, both men and women here, my story is, is your story. And there are many others. We all have challenges being uh, working women. And uh, being a woman in advertising presents its own unique set of challenges. I want to share a few facts with you. Um, this is actually from a report from the 3% conference. If any of you are familiar with that, this is a conference that uh, was started about eight years ago when a woman, Kat Gordon, the founder, uh, did research and found out that only 3% of senior level women in creative positions in advertising uh, in the US, 3% are actually women. And so they started this conference to try and change that percentage. And actually, they've made some really good progress uh, in just a few years. That number is up to 11% now, but there's still a long way to go. And so these are a few facts from this report that they did. 91% uh, of women have heard demeaning comments in the workplace. 67% have been told that they are too aggressive. 60% are, are asked to do work wife chores, meaning they're writing notes or reserving conference rooms or those types of things that um, we, we are that often fall to women. Uh, and 54% have been sexually harassed. Uh, in in the past 25 years in the U.S., women have remained at a 67% participation in the workforce. Every other industrialized nation in the world has seen female workforces grow significantly, um, but this means here in the U.S. that our female workforce is actually stagnating. We, as a nation, make it hard for women to have a full-time career. So this is why it is so important that we have an organization like WIN here. Uh, it gives women a voice. It addresses difficult issues and how we might solve them together. And it recognizes the accomplishments of other women in our organization. And I know it meant a lot to me last year um, when I was one of the women that uh, won this award. So we are really happy to be here today and raise these women up and, and thank them and congratulate them on their accomplishments. Um, speaking of recognizing women, before we start, uh, Kieran, Len speaks next. And before she does, I want to acknowledge her. I sh Kieran works tirelessly on this event and the interests of women here at GTB. She's passionate about the integrity of this award and who receives it. And she may be the most organized woman I know. I think her whole life is on an Excel worksheet. <laughs> yeah, where is she? <laughs> So uh, let's give Kieran Lenz a hand. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for coming to today's event. Um, so this is our second annual Winning Women Award, but before we get into the actual award ceremony, we would like to tell you a little bit more about what WIN is all about. So WIN stands for Women's Initiative, and we have four primary goals. What we are hoping to do is equip, connect, inspire, and advocate. So first, we'd like to provide resources and forums to support leadership and development, help women to strengthen their networks, highlight and celebrate successful women in business, such as today's event, and also create awareness of workplace challenges and work towards solution options. Our mission statement is to serve as an empowering network for the women of GTB by creating an environment that promotes personal and professional opportunities and supports GTB as an employer of choice for all. 
In other words, we would like to help you realize success, whatever that means for you. If you'd like to learn more about WIN or have any ideas or inquiries, please visit our stuff page. So now to provide you a little bit of background on the event, I'm going to turn it over to Pam Myshek. Hi, and thank you everybody for being here. I'm really happy to see a much more diverse group here and a bigger group here than we had last year. This event started last year. Can you hear me? My voice is kind of quiet. If you can't, just raise your hands. Um, so this started last year, and it was much smaller, and it was all women. Um, and this isn't just about women. This is about creating a much more inclusive um, environment, an environment that works much better for all of us. Um, but we are honoring we are honoring women here today, <laughs> um, and we're honoring women specifically that had contributions, significant contributions to the agency. Also that um, they are just wonderful human beings, and they realize the value of other humans around them, and they do things to celebrate that. Also people that are significant in the broader community. So they're, they're not all, all, in addition to doing all the work they're doing here, and balancing all the relationships they have outside with individuals. They're also making major contributions to the broader community. Um, so how do they get here? How do they get elected? I'm gonna spend very little time on that because I wanna spend the significant amount of time on who these people are and what they've actually done. But just to give you an idea, in um, February, um, there was a general call that went out to the agency and we asked people, who exhibited certain um, characteristics, who had significant work accomplishments that were recognized by management, um, who had significant accomplishments outside of their um, work function, um, who impacted and helped a lot of folks around them, um, and who showed a ton of dedication and effort. I don't mean 24-7 it's just not possible, then you're not a good human being, right? But I mean, <laughs> significant. They're really going above and beyond. Um, and who had just general integrity? Uh, so when those nominations came in, um, they were vetted then by the WIN committee um, and validated by management. So that's how we got here. Now to the fun part. So for these actual awards, as we've mentioned, this is our second year. And just as with last year, we have five winners. And for the award ceremony, what we're gonna do for each winner is provide a brief bio so you understand how great they are and hand over the award. And for this, we actually have our 2016 winners who will be passing the baton, so to speak. And to that end, if we can give a brief round of applause for our 2016 winners before we go into 2017. And with that, we will go to our winners for this year. So it's a pretty big honor to um, award this award to someone I've worked with for a long time since I've been here, uh, and that's Diana Grossi. She's a managing integrated production. <laughs> and I get to embarrass her a little bit, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, as, a, as a managing partner, uh, Diana is responsible for a 200 plus team that works on thousands of projects a year. Diana, thanks. Diana leads a fast paced, multi discipline integrated production department that includes managing productions across media channels, providing expertise needed to produce groundbreaking work efficiencies. Uh, it, it is the heart of GTB delivery that. G, that Diana function as part orchestra conductor and part tra air traffic controller. With Diana's function is ke she keeps everything in constant motion along of all the IT team, IP teams, which include asset management, business management, distribution, legal, proof, product, the producer team, talent, and traffic. Her success and leadership role over such a large and complex group started back in 1997 when she joined JWT as the first digital project manager. Outside of JD, GDP, Diana participates in many initiatives in her community 
her family, her church, with her daughters, school, and co-leader of a Girl Scout troop, with a concentration and development on empowering 18 young girls. As stated by her nominator, Diana is fair, just, and inspiring. As a friend, she is trustworthy, supportive, and kind. And as a person, Diana is quietly admired and respected by all those who meet her. Diana, would you like to step up for your award? Is, this is definitely um, quite an honor, and um, thank you so much to my team. Look at all of you guys here. You guys are going to make me cry. Um, thank you so much for all of your support, and I am nothing here without, without your hard work and dedication and support, and I really appreciate that. Um, recently, I uh, read an article from Diane von Verstenberg, who um, said that being a woman is a privilege. And um, I've, I've enjoyed it myself. <laughs> um, but with that become, comes responsibility. And um, the article went on to say, if you, um, you know, the most important thing to do is to believe in yourself. And if you are doubting your powers, uh, your power, um, you're putting power in your doubts. And I started, I really read that several times and it really resonated with me and especially um, a mom of three daughters I'm um, always kind of capturing these things I want them to learn and um, it's uh, it's funny I'm often hearing them say I can't do it or I'm horrible in math or whatever so and so can dribble the ball better than I can you know so I'm constantly remembering these different quotes that I've captured and I'm recalling them and they think I'm crazy um, but they um, I think it's it's resonating with them as well my um, second grader Lucia when we're doing math uh, she's doing uh, timed tests you have to do 20 math facts in a minute in a minute's time so I have my stopwatch and uh, you know she gets all nervous with the timing, and she's she stops and she says, "Lucia, I can do this. You can do this, Lucia." You know she said she's talking to herself, and um, so anyway, that's that's heartwarming. Um, anyway, again, thank you so much for for this honor. I really am humbled and appreciate it so much. the privilege today of um, giving Miss Kari Ryan her award today. Um, not only is Kari a successful social publisher at GTB, she has gone above and beyond through her social justice and political activism. Kari is a passionate advocate for minority and civil rights, particularly those of women. <clears throat> to that end, she founded Shine On Detroit, along with fellow GTBers Sonia Dardigan and Lana Goodrich. Already having held several events since its inception, Shine On Detroit serves to help women reach their personal and professional potentials through a network of amazing and powerful women. Um, this group has a monthly newsletter, and they've brought together hundreds of women to have their voices heard. On top of all of that, as stated in her nominating forms, several times she's gotten nominated, <clears throat> Kari is a creative, energetic, friendly, and helpful, and epitomizes a winning woman. And personally, um, when I started in my group, <clears throat> I worked with her for about three weeks, a few weeks into starting, um, and she came to me and just said, you're doing amazing work, and you're making a difference, and that just really struck me. I've never had someone on like a peer level actually um, appreciate and, and, and share that with me. And I also happen to know she's an amazing karaoke, but that's another story. <laughs> I 
definitely did not prepare to say anything. Um, Danny, you did. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to get a couple more drinks in me before I do that. Um, this is such a great honor. Um, I am humbled and uh, appreciative of receiving this. Um, I love women. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, I think that uh, women provide uh, just an amazing um, point of view, both in personal, you know, uh, areas of life and also professional, um, you know, areas. Uh, I find myself sometimes in meetings here at GTB uh, being, you know, just incredibly inspired by the people around me and I look around and I'm in a room with like 80% women and it's, uh, I think this organization is amazing and you guys do a great job of uplifting other women and I, I think that it's something that's definitely uh, appreciated and needed. Um, I hope to continue uh, carrying this torch of women's empowerment because I think when uh, women succeed, we all succeed. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I have the honor of presenting this next award to Lauren Crane. <laughs> Over her 30-year career, Lauren has amassed extensive experience in brand creation and development for executions in all aspects of media. <laughs> One of her career highlights was creating Warriors in Pink. Lauren conceived, co-created, and co-managed the brand, which serves as Ford's cause marketing campaign to raise awareness and funds for breast cancer charities. She also penned the Upside video featuring Detroit Dirt's Passion Murray and the Ford C-Max plug-in, one of my favorites. The shot-by-shot -shot parody of a Cadillac ad caught attention worldwide and became a viral media sensation. Outside of the office, Lauren serves as a volunteer drum circle facilitator for Gilda's Club, a nonprofit for cancer patients, survivors, and co-survivors. Lauren is also a singer-songwriter who performs with the band Taller Than They Appear and is even working on her first novel, The Square Donut, which will be released this May. As stated by her nominator, Lauren approaches everyone she meets with kindness and curiosity and leaves them with a feeling of belonging. She is the calm amidst the storm, and we are all better for living in her world. Thank you, Lauren. either but I love being the calm in the storm <laughs> That's all. that might be a new song <laughs> I really appreciate it my I've spent a 35 year career 30 here um, I was gonna say I came here in 1988 how many were born after that <laughs> <laughs> I love it uh, one of the privileges I have I don't know people are my one of my favorite well pe the people are my favorite things I don't think that makes sense but I love people <laughs> And I get to work with brilliant people, and all through men and women. Um, in the last few years, <laughs> it's, I'm really old, but I whatever. Um, <laughs> it's all the young people that I enjoy. It's it's really been great to just be able to embrace all ages and all the new technology. And what I wish for everyone and women, and they're included in everyone, um, is really. Be entrepreneurial in your work, because Warriors in Pink was came as a song lyric. I brought it in, and the next thing you know, Linda Meek and I are charging forward, and it's a brand 12 years later. And that came, no one asked for it. So when you have ideas, really go for it. And this, this, um, this business is a blast. You know, you don't have to say... Um, would you like your change in 10s or 20s? You don't have to do that. You get to go home and, I mean, you get to come here and create things and end up on TV or elsewhere. So have a good time. That's what I say. And see ya.
thank you for your inspiring comments. That was wonderful. Um, I am up. I am here <laughs> to talk about our next nominee, Barb Toboy. Um, I had the pleasure of bringing Barb on board into the agency about nine, nine, ten years ago, and brought her in to um, to focus on multicultural uh, programs to do analytics for a lot of the work that we do. Um, for African American and Hispanic events. She is now working on analytics for Warriors in Pink programs, <laughs> so we have a connection there. Um, and she's, she is um, somebody that never says no. She is doing a million things for almost everybody. Um, she's very, very actively involved in um, BCA, but she's also very actively involved in Engage. Um, around the world events, the Olympic Super Duty events, the um, Bring Your Kids to Work events, the Halloween. Ha who's participated in the Halloween event for maybe the four, five, last four, five, six years? Barb's hard to beat. <laughs> she really gets into it. Um, she's also um, high, highly regarded in her field and has become a speaker and a representative for the agency at events um, like the American Advertising Federation event, the DIRT event that's uh, done here to recruit new talent in. Um, so she is helping out in speaking about analytics and recruiting people uh, to the agency for those types of things. She's also passionate. How many of you are Polish or related to somebody that's Polish? Fair number. You might want to talk to Barb. Barb is a significant player in, um, she's very passionate about the Pol Polish culture. Her whole family dances, <laughs> can teach you how to do the Polish dances. But she also um, emcees all the activities for um, Comerica Park on Pol the Polish ev event. She also is um, a treasure, has a lot, has a lot of treasury functions, um, particularly for the Polish Day Parade in Hamtramck and the Polish American Congress Charitable Fund. She also is a, a leader for the committee of the Polish Roman Catholic Union of America. I'm sorry, that's too many words for me to just look up and <laughs> talk to you. I had to look down, sorry. Um, she also is, um, so she, um, her favorite um, quote is from, uh, I can't, I gotta look down at this one too. Fabienne Fredrickson, is that right? Um, and it is, the things that you are passionate about are not random, they are your calling. I think that's a wonderful quote. And um, she's passionate about a lot of things, so she has a lot of callings. Thank you, Barb. I'd like to thank the Academy. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Sorry, sorry wrong, award, wrong awards. <laughs> um, I am truly humbled to receive this award. And yes, I have a hard time saying no to things, those of you that know me. But I'd like to start off by saying that um, that quote is one of my favorites because if you're passionate about what you do, you will succeed and you will go far and you will do great things. And every one of you here looking around, and every one of you that come to work at GTB, I know are passionate about what you do. And it's truly an honor to work with you every day. It's an honor to get this award. I'd like to thank my friend Michelle for nominating me and for the GTB um, win committee for deeming me worthy to have this because I am among uh, some great ladies up here and I work for a great organization. Thank you so much. Our last winner unfortunately moved to a position outside of GTB literally days ago, but we still wanted to note her accomplishments as one of the winners of the 2017 Winning Women Awards. Many of you know Sarah Crutcher, not only as a excuse me, successful creative business manager while at GTB, but she also was the founder and lead of the ACE team, which stands for African Ancestry Cultural Experience, one of the circles within Imprint. She is also a published author of Heart Picked Elizabeth's Adoption Tale to help kids understand and embrace their own adoption stories, and she's even an entrepreneur with her own business. We wish Sarah the best of luck in her future pursuits. <laughs> a 
let's have one final round of applause for our 2017 winning women. Because this is an annual event, please be thinking about nominees for next year's awards, and we'll see you back here. But before we adjourn for refreshments, I'm going to turn it over to Paige Terracciaro. Just want to thank you guys so much for your support and your participation. Please, if you're interested in being a part of WIN or another engaged committee, reach out to one of us or to Tracy or um, to one of our partners. We really appreciate it. We hope you can all stay um, to network with some refreshments, um, which we will go until 6, 6 o'clock. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>